It's a call to action. Mayor LeVar Stoney standing alongside seven of nine city council members declaring an affordable housing crisis emergency for the city of Richmond. We need all hands on deck. Just like we're doing on the front of gun violence, we are going to throw the entire kitchen sink at this crisis. The city's plan to address it includes redevelopment of public housing communities, rewriting the city's zoning ordinances, giving assistance to first time home buyers working for the city, a revolving loan program totaling $800,000 and a $50 million bond program for the next five years. But some housing advocates have problems with that bond program. Mayor Stoney is not sharing that the $50 million in bonds will actually cost the city $138 million in debt over the next 25 years. So um, bonds are debt, right? And the trust fund is not. Council supporting Stoney. There are going to be some organizations, there are going to be some people that say, well, we should do it the way that we've always done it. We can't. The need has changed. The challenge has changed. The group also wondering where money meant for an affordable housing trust fund laid out by a city ordinance will tie in. It seems to us that the mayor's administration has every intent of abandoning the affordable housing trust fund. And again, this is a proven tool and in many cities, Affordable housing trust funds are used right alongside bond programs. Um, and so we need every tool in the toolbox and we need to use them wisely and together um, in order to make headway here. We asked, how would it be used alongside Stoney's plan? You know, the Affordable Housing Trust Fund is a, I would say, an advisory board that helps us with some of these decisions. But the future, what we want to see is we want to bring everyone to the table who has the expertise. The expertise, the ideas of folks who are in the nonprofit world, or in the philanthropic world, in the private sector, so we can see a more broader view on how we go about using these dollars to get more people into affordable homes. Mayor Stoney and Councilman Jones also called on Governor Yunkin to help address the affordable housing crisis and several council members will be meeting with housing advocacy groups tonight to hear their concerns. My colleague Maggie Marshall will be at that meeting happening tonight. She'll have more on our news at 11 in Richmond. I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.